dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Um, uh, greetings, mayor. I, no, 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 um, well, long time no see. Uh, no, uh, so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well. She need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? and see if you can get some work out of them first. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops, it uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wire that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Ratchet, there should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Three, 
Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dreadzone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. There you have it. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? Tap R2 to switch between recently used weapons. Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. This is crazy! I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending... Hey, Al. Oh. Hey, Ratchet. I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. You ever been in country? You know, seen combat? Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw them. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Ahem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the Battle Dome, after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome transport shuttle immediately. Failure to comply 
will result in termination. hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Fox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Vox Network. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! That's right, it's time for Dread Zone, the galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport. Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome. And now, on pay per view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators. They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. Oh, and that is it for Mobius Man, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season. Next up, we have, uh, let me see here, Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry. We have Grey, Thunder, and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. Zone fans, this is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Uh-oh. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. Sometimes use bolt cranks to activate devices or lower force fields. But be careful, Ratchet. The bolt cranks may trigger incoming waves of enemies. My scanners show an extremely deadly 70mm stalker turret ahead of you. 
You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your Dreadzone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Excellent work, Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. Let's keep this quick, Box. Oh, well, far be it from me to keep the Superstar Exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Life video game? How about an Ace Hard Life lunchbox? Action figures? Movie rights? Collectible trading cards? Ace Hardlight is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. It's time to kill or be killed in the Annihilator round. Ratchet must survive under relentless attack from wave after wave of lethal enemies. Fox has designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. Team Dark Star simply won't give up. fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. Oh, come on! Would somebody just kill this little runt already?
Ratchet, you need to choose where you are going to compete next. This is the Interplanetary Transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. It travels on a planned course. Any tampering with the nav computer causes the ship to explode. <laughs> 